Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic in the series on prayer is communal prayers, part three. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 2. One day, the believers were meeting together. They were praising the Lord God and they were praying. They also stopped eating food for a time. During that time, the Holy Spirit said to them, I have chosen Barnabas and Saul to do a special work for me. Let them go now and do it. I read today's scripture from the Easy English Version of the Bible because I love the way the version expressly and explicitly describes the scenario. It talks about a day believers gathered together. That scripture says they were praising the Lord and praying. They were also fasting from food. And while they did this, the Spirit of God spoke clearly to them. Not to one person, to a bunch of them and revealed the special work two of those um, people who gathered were called to do. Even as I prepare this episode now, I recollect several years ago, about 12 years ago this year, when a friend of mine and I were praying. We had no requests. We just wanted to minister to the Lord. And as we did this, God spoke to both of us about this devotional both of us at the same time. It was surreal. It took a number of years, but God eventually did bring it to pass. And today you are listening because two people came together to pray. The place of communal prayers is a place where the Spirit of God will reveal divine pathways and directives. Like I always say, so many Christians complain about being unsure of what their specific work or what what specific work God has for them. Until we rekindle the fire of corporate prayers, until we learn to gather together and actually pray and praise the Lord, to just wait in his presence as a family, we will continue to box the air and engage in spiritual trial and error. As the people in our scripture gathered, Barnabas and Saul's call became clear. There is great power and recompense in gathering together with other believers in prayer, fasting and praise. If you are not accustomed to this kind of thing, it may feel awkward, but if you will just persist and trust the examples from scripture, you will see how beneficial praying with other believers is. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this word. Lord, today I pray for fresh fire and zeal to be ignited in our hearts, that men and women will start gathering to pray without strife, without doubt, without malice. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.